No, the most normal hater of abortion, okay? New Pro-life fan. And a story we brought you last week about the five aborted fetuses the D.C. found inside of a Capitol Hill apartment. 110 more fetuses now they part of this investigation. Left. Fox 5's Katie Barlow back on that scene with the latest. Katie. Good afternoon to both of you. Lauren Handy, who was indicted last week on federal charges. Oh, yeah. Remember when you thought it was 10 fetuses that she had in her house? It was 115, actually. Yup. Yup. It is related to an abortion, anti-abortion. The funniest part is like these motherfuckers are the ones that were like, they're taking, Democrats are taking baby fetuses for adrenochrome and then they do this In protest at an abortion clinic here in Washington, D.C. Also lived here on Capitol Hill and that's where D.C. police recovered what they say are five fetuses. They're a part of an ongoing investigation. But today, Handy, as a part of a press conference with her anti-abortion activist group, told reporters that there were 110 other aborted fetuses that they recovered as a part of their anti-abortion advocacy. Lauren Handy and I went to Washington, Sergi. So like... So, like, someone needs to describe this to me. Like, does that mean she has, like, 110 babies, like, dead baby corpses in her in her house? Is that 115, like, living corpses? Center ...to engage in anti-abortion advocacy. Upon arrival, we saw a truck labeled Curtis Bay Medical Waste Services parked outside. We approached the driver who was about to load two large boxes with biohazard symbols onto his truck. We asked him if he knew what was in the boxes, and after he said no, we told him, dead babies. The driver was visibly shaken. The activist told the driver that they wanted to take what they assumed were human remains and give them a proper funeral. Now, today the group told reporters there were a hundred- Bro, that's insane, dude. She just kept these fucking things, dude. That's wild. That's jail. Sorry. You know I believe in rehabilitation and stuff, but, like, you got to put that person in jail just preemptively. That's a vibe check failure, okay? That is a vibe check failure. You are going to jail. Guess who's going to jail tonight? You, and God will not be posting your bail tonight. You're going to f perma jail. 110 first trimester aborted fetuses that they buried with the help of a Catholic priest. However, they did not get an independent medical examiner to confirm. How the f can you bury a first trimester fetus is like this big dude like it's not even a thing did you did you bury it by throwing it in the in the you know did you throw it in the in the trash confirm that now the remaining five fetuses were kept at handy's apartment the activists said they coordinated with attorneys to alert the dc wait did they put it in a matchbox like they put like a couple in a matchbox and bury them together Homicide unit about the location of the fetuses. Now, MPD, we spoke to earlier today, would not confirm the tip that they received about the biohazard material that was reported here at a home on Capitol Hill, whether that came from Handy or any of her fellow anti-abortion activists in that group. We also reached out to Curtis Bay Management Company, who allegedly employed the driver that the activists referred to in the press conference today. We did not get a response to them. However, we did get a statement from the National Abortion Federation when we reached out to the Washington Surgery Center here in Washington, D.C., and they said, abortion providers comply with state and federal laws that regulate medical tissue for all health care providers to ensure that it is handled safely, appropriately, and respectfully. Further, false claims about abortion and people who need this care have contributed to hundreds of medically unnecessary and politically motivated state restrictions that push safe and affordable abortion care. I'm confused. Are you pro-abortion or not? I am. What do you mean? Yeah, I love abortions, dude. More abortions. Abortions for all. It's awesome. I have no problem with abortions. But this is psychotic. Thinking that this this person thinks these are babies, okay? And then she just kept baby corpses in her mind at her apartment. If you think I'm not going to make fun of that, I don't know what to tell you. Like, let's say you are a smart fellow like myself, and you're an intactivist, okay? What is an intactivist? A foreskin activist, okay? Like, you don't want people to uh, steal your foreskin from your child. Like, remember what they took from us, okay? I, I'm unfortunately... I am an intactivist uh, because something was stolen from me, right? Now, 
in all of my activism, if you saw me, you know, take a bunch of fetuses or not fetuses, what am I saying? Foreskin and bottle them up in my house, you'd be like, that's crazy. Okay. Which is why I stopped doing that. <laughs> I only have like 10. She has 115. It's too much. Now I just bury them. Out of reach. Guys. Katie, so the medical examiner retrieved the fetuses. The activists want the medical examiner to conduct full autopsies on them. So any update on that request? We reached out to the D.C. medical examiner who wouldn't provide us a request for comment. Uh, they actually directed us to Mayor Bowser's office. We followed up with Mayor Bowser. Apparently, they are the ones providing any further comment related to the D.C. medical examiner request. No comment from them so far, but we'll follow up. <laughs> Do they look like Funyuns after a while? Yes. I mean, I think this is a betrayal of, like, the values, right? If you personally believe that these are, like, real babies right then you have like a hundred baby corpses in your house like you can't you can't possibly believe you can't possibly believe that these are real f babies you know